Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave After Balm and there is a lot of hype on YouTube, particularly from Nikki Tutorials for using this as a primer. And I'm a little skeptical because it does smell like a hardcore dude. Yeah, it smells like a dude. One of the things that she was saying is that the glycerin in it makes the product, like your makeup, stay on for a really long time. I am very eager to try this out. As you can see, I already have my eyes done and I haven't done my foundation. I'm going to apply this to half of my face and half of my face with a different, maybe like the Makeup Forever smoothing primer because I think that this is... That's a really long wearing primer and so I'm going to test this out to that primer and to see, you know, does it actually extend the, the wear of my makeup or not. Let's see, I'm not exactly sure how to apply this. Add liberally to the face and neck after shaving. So I didn't shave my face, do that much and see how it goes. Oh. So Nikki Tutorials says to keep applying this and keep rubbing it in until it starts to feel tacky. Hasn't felt tacky yet. I mean, I could say that this is kind of tacky. So I am just going to take a makeup wipe and take this off my hands and grab the other primer. The other primer I will be using is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing primer. And I'm just gonna apply that to the other half of my face. You always wanna do this with clean hands so you don't get any bacteria on your face. I feel kind of the same, to be honest. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and apply that to my face. If you see me looking that way, it's because I have a mirror right there. I gotta say, this actually smells really good. I know it smells like a dude, but that's not a bad thing. As long as it just don't like make me smell like a dude. The application doesn't feel too different when I'm applying it with a brush. Like it's not like this one is super sticky or anything. They feel, the consistency feels kind of the same. I am just gonna put some concealer on. And I am just going to set that with some, oh, it's like falling everywhere. Some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. For this video, I don't think I'm going to set the rest of my face. I did set the under eye area with some powder just because that's more concealer not creasing on me. But for the sake of this video, I do want to see if it lasts a really long time without setting it with powder. And if it does, that's great. I'm really excited to try this out and wear it throughout the day. And I will take you guys along with me and kind of check in at different points in the day and then come back at the very end of the video and tell you my final thoughts on it. So far, it's... I think my makeup looks really good. But yeah, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. 2,000 years later. So I am done with my makeup. Um, I have everything on that I need to to go out for the day. First thoughts is it feels really nice. Um, I don't think it got as tacky as I was expecting it to. I'm a fan of a uh, strong like cologne man smell. So I really enjoyed the smell of it. <laughs> The smell hasn't like lingered at all, so I'm hoping that my mom doesn't ask me why I smell like a man. I am looking more for the longevity of this primer, so I'm excited to see how it, wear, how it wears throughout the day. I'll check in a little bit. Okay, so we just went to the drugstore and I got the May some new Maybelline stuff. First I got the Maybelline Master Contour Kit in light or in medium deep because I saw um, Casey on YouTube saying that the deeper one was better. Got this Wet n Wild palette. Came out with this illuminating palette. It's like a little highlight and a uh, contour powder thing. And that is supposed to be very similar to the Marc Jacobs um, 
little powder. Got this new Wet n Wild uh, blush. They did reformulate their blushes, and I got that in Mellow Wine. I got this L'Oreal Lumi cushion foundation, and I'm super excited to try this out. Got another Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I got this new Maybelline uh, Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. I got the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Oily Skin. And also, Wet n Wild came out with brushes, and these were 99 cents each. Like, are you kidding? So obviously I got I got the flat kabuki one and then I got just a flat shader brush. What's up everyone? We have reached my first check-in. We have gone to Ulta, uh, Walgreens, we've done a couple errands, and I've had this on for about three to four hours now. This is the side of my face with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I don't know if I mentioned, but it is the sensitive one. And then this side is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I do think that this side of my face looks a little bit better because the oil is not nearly as bad in my on my forehead in this area. My bronzer doesn't look nearly as patchy as this side. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. Um, I don't know, can you guys tell like a huge difference? I don't know if the lighting totally sucks. And I will check in in a little bit. So this is my final check-in for the day. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the side of the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. And this is the side of the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I do think that this side of my face uh, went on a little bit better. It's less patchy, I noticed. I think that it really did prolong the wear time of my makeup. I think I like this side better. You are a keeper. If you have the option to buy the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, then I definitely would. I think it's a great product. I think that it definitely prolonged the wear time of my foundation, and it just made things go on pretty smoothly and evenly, and it wasn't super blotchy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Otherwise.